if you heard, but I actually have a save file that I made for The Sims 4. You probably have heard because I talk about it all the time. I, I won't shut up about it, honestly. It's really annoying, actually. Um, I should, I should stop, <laughs> but I'm not the only person that's made a save file for this game. And what I mean by that is a save file, as in like one you can download and play in, that's got all new lots, new sims, renovations, all that kind of stuff. They take forever to make because you have to build like a million things. I mean, I've spent so long working on mine. I'll link mine down below, but again, I'm not the only person that's made one and by no means am I the best. I am probably the worst one that's on the internet right now. That's not true. I Please, I tried hard. My, it's linked. <laughs> but my friend Dawn, who's Simlessy on YouTube finally finished hers. I've been watching her for a while. This poor girl has been working on this for so long <laughs> and she released it to the public. And knowing Dawn, I'm not kidding, this girl is one of the most talented builders there has ever been in the Sims community. I'm not kidding, I am not exaggerating. She is so good at this game. It makes me feel bad about myself. I've actually met her a couple times. She's so nice in person. I cannot speak highly enough of this person. I'll link her channel down below. But I want to check out her save file. It came out like a month ago maybe, so I'm a little bit late to the game. But I'm really excited to see it because knowing her, it's gonna be so good. I've got hopes way high up. <laughs> but I'm on her Tumblr right now. So we can see some screenshots of some of the worlds. You can already tell that she's made some really cool builds. I am so excited to see what she's done with these. Oh, even Strangerville. Oh my god. You poor, poor soul. Do you guys have any idea how long it took me to fix Strangerville? This place is cursed. Okay, I'm sorry. They're very simple to install. I'm just gonna download this. It's plot 700, super easy. This is a save file. So all you have to do is open your Sims 4 folder, open saves, and then drop it in there. Super simple. This is a save and not a mod. <laughs> Keep that in mind. It's a save file not a mod. Say it with me. Save, not mod. Okay, I don't have a slot 700 either, so we can just drop that in and open our game up. I'm so excited to see this. If I were you, by the way, back up your saves. Don't break anything, okay? We will not be the cause of you replacing your save files and, and breaking them and losing them all. These are your saves. These are like all of your games. Don't j make a copy of that folder on your desktop, okay? Don't risk it. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm so excited, okay. Simlessy save original. I'm so curious to see this. We have so much to look at too. And I can be nice because like Jessie, I toured her save file, Plumbella, she's my enemy. So I had to, I had to tear her down, but we <laughs> but we can be nice to Dawn. Ooh, we've got households too. Okay, city living landlord. We've got I mean all obviously like the existing counties, but there's all these Sims. I'm so excited to see them. What's this outfit? Is that custom content? Am I blind? Oh, I forgot they added this in, in university. I genuinely didn't recognize that. Oh, I'm dumb. Well, that's Charlotte Thompson. She's a university student and I forgot that we had that content. Okay. So we start with Willow Creek. That's probably the most important, right? The base game world. Oh my God. Even just like this neighborhood down here looks so much better. Oh, and the BFF household got a makeover. Oh, she fixed these poor Sims. Oh, they deserved that. They really did. Okay, what's the house look like though? <gasps> oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> look, they have a hot tub. Oh, oh, they deserved this. No, they really did. This house was so sad before. I'm sure you recognize it, but. Oh, and the inside, see, I told you. She is such a good builder. It's so unfair. Stop it. <laughs> You can't have it all. Look at this, triple monitor setup. Oh, we got a gamer gamer in here. Oh, and she puts photos on the wall. Oh, the detail. I didn't remake the townies houses. I feel, um, no, yeah, I suck, yeah. They have a whole gallery wall of photos of their friends. Oh. Wouldn't it be fun to have like a real friend group like this? I do not relate. That would be so cute, if only, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I have to see this house, I'm serious. We gotta know. <gasps> Oh, the style of it's so beautiful. This poor house, this is what it deserved. <laughs> I love this so much. And the gazebo with the little space to sit and the pool. This is such a pretty build. Oh man, <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, and the goth house. You know, I've seen this. She rebuilt the goth house. She also made over all of the goth Sims. The Sims 4 really did the goth dirty. I mean, honestly, all of the Sims games, their houses are so weird. Oh, I love this version of them. Bella looks beautiful. <gasps> the family I'm such a weenie about this kind of thing. I'm so easily impressed. It's like you put a family picture on the wall and I'm like, oh my God, family photos, amazing. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make Simsy happy, that's for sure. But like, this is what the Goths deserved. They deserved a beautiful home and instead they got a, a monstrosity, but we fixed it. Well, I didn't, Dawn did. 
Oh, there's a whole gallery wall of family pictures over here. This makes me so happy. It really is the little things. And look, Alexander actually has a bedroom upstairs now. Good old Alex, he, he deserved a real room. I love this bookshelf behind the desk, kind of like a hutch. In Cassie's room, I love this house. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Oh, they have a freaky basement too. Oh my God, because she's a secret agent. I love that. See, I wish, I wish this is what they had. I'm so sad. They have like this normal, like, oh look, it's a casual basement. We have our wine cellar and our laundry. Nothing to see here. And then boom, crazy, crazy secret agent government office. She's got a bat. Oh my God. Oh, I think this is adorable. All the cameras and stuff too. Cat named Monty. Oh, in my version, it's a hairless cat. Mine's a hairless cat. Oh, great minds, you know? The goss, they definitely would have a hairless cat. For sure, I mean, without a doubt, absolutely would have a hairless cat. I love this build, I'm so happy, I'm so- <laughs> Can we see the land grabs next? Okay, no wait, hang on, I wanna see this house first. Oh, <laughs> we got a big one here. <gasps> I- uh... <laughs> I'm so bad at building, oh man. <laughs> Oh, I would never think to do this. Like these, these debug column brick wall posts and like the really cool little, I, I've literally never successfully used these trees. This is the debug tree too. That looks so good with the hanging plants too. And the little like greenhouse area. Look with the custom tiles. She made custom tiles. If you rotate and like do little like, she, she placed, Oh my God. The level of detail in all of these builds with the little sandbox area for the kids too. Oh, that's so cute. I love this house. Oh, this is my favorite one yet. I'm, I'm not kidding. I love how she has family photos everywhere too. I think that's so fun. I love the fact that she's got all the like custom family photos in because it makes the house seem like a real family house. Like this is the kind of like actual storytelling I want from the Sims team. Like I wish that we had this kind of stuff existing in the game already, you know? Oh, I love this house. Okay, this is so cool. This is so, so cool. Oh, the teddy bear on the bed too. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so fragile. Okay, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Genuinely might be one of my favorite builds I've ever seen. And like the attic has all this stuff in it. Oh, is this like a butler's basement? I hope so. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm. You guys know I like swoon over the Sims way too much and this is no exception. <gasps> I think I've already seen her land grab run out, but not in a while. And I'm I'm prepared to be emotional because this build is is possibly one of the worst ones in the game. <laughs> Look! Oh my god, this is what they deserve. The way she's built this staircase up, I'm sorry. I you all know I can't build modern homes in The Sims. You know that I am severely untalented. These cool brick walls and like the marble accent. I would never think to use the marble wallpaper like that. How do you come up with these things? How do you do this? How do you know how to do this? And the cars and the garage, like I just, and the enormous basketball court. This is what they deserve. This is what the land grabs should have had. And what we got is just, it's disappointing in many ways, but look, they have a hot tub and stuff. Oh my God. Okay, I'm, I'm getting too ahead of myself. This seriously is what it should have looked like when the actual Sims team made it. Look at this kitchen. Oh, that's so cool. So cool, and the wine cellar, oh my god. Classy family photos of the land grab couple. Home gym. Malcolm actually has a bedroom. I feel like in the actual land grab house, you like can't tell which room is supposed to be Malcolm's. Cause you know that house has like two weird giant bedrooms on either side. And it's like, which one's the master? I, I don't know. I think it's very clear this one's Malcolm's room. <laughs> and there's a whole master suite over here. <gasps> With like a crazy huge bed oh, and a stack of money on the nightstand. How do you think of this stuff? I love how this looks too with the entryway into the bathroom. That looks amazing. This is so cool. Oh, it's so cool. The custom double shower. Oh, I love this build. This one might be my favorite. I just, I feel like this is so perfect for the land grabs, you know? I mean, they all, all these things are great, but like, this is what you would imagine they'd have. And they just, they don't, not in the, not in the real game. <laughs> no way, oh my God, a bar. Look, oh, okay, I'm sorry, this is so cool. This is like, the use of these debug items, that's a light, wait, that's just the faucet light? That's this lamp, but crazy sized up. How do you think of that? I'm serious, how do you, how? Do you come up with that? So there's like some outdoor seating. You walk in, you gotta get your bowling shoes, of course. <laughs> we have the bowling team, the champions. There's a bar area with some seating. And then look, you can bowl. 
Oh, I'm so happy. And there's like a little arcade at the front. This is such a cool bowling alley. I wanna, oh my God, hang on. I, you know what? I told you, I feel bad about myself. Llama Lanes. I love how she has like this wall of bowling balls up to like divide it. That looks so good. I would have never thought to do it this way. This genuinely looks so cool. And these are from Tiny Living. How recently did you update and finish this? How are you this good at this? Oh, I'm so angry and, and mad at myself for not being this good at this. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Like, seriously, how do they think of these things? The talented builders, how do they do that? I hate to just jump between all of the existing townies houses, but I gotta see the Calientes, okay? It's important. <gasps> oh. It's what they deserved. Oh my, okay, first of all, these little plants sized up as potters for the front, genius. The pool in the backyard, this is so much better than their actual house. Like this little like indoor outdoor area with the bar, the living space, the dining space. Oh, this makes me so happy. It looks so much better this way. I am obsessed with this. I love this. Classic, you look beautiful, Katrina. <laughs> oh, that's great. This is great. A plus. Oh, there's a ton of houses in Newcrest. Okay, so one, we can see her, her households. I love that these lots are like the same but flipped. Okay, it's storming, so ignore that. But like, look at how cute these two houses look. <gasps> okay, they're so similar. This is perfect. This kind of house style is perfect. My bad, this sim is missing work. But the moral household, it's a single mom and her two daughters. Look at how cute it is. Oh, I love decorating kids' bedrooms like this. This looks so good. I'm so impressed. Whoa, Magnolia Complex. What is this? Something that I couldn't pull off, that's for sure. <gasps> cool, oh, it's a bunch of different shops. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's set as a park so you can bring your sims here. It's like a mall, right? But the game thinks it's a park so that sims will actually come here. But there's like a little cafe bar area. Oh, that looks really good. So what I'm assuming, you could probably set this as a restaurant and it'll work. So you could change this lot type to whatever you want and it'll function as all of them. So there's like a restaurant here. There's a little toy store, a music store. Oh, that's fun. Movie theater, by the way. When you first walk in like a real mall, there's a movie theater with like a whole concession stand and stuff. And then there's a bunch of different screens. There's a little bookstore back here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, a bowling alley, of course, amazing. And like an arcade. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, okay, uh, this is my favorite lot so far, I think. I, I just, I always want my lots to be this good. And I feel like I can never pull off this. Like, I never know how to best make this kind of building look cool. I mean, it's like a crazy mall that you've built and it, lo it looks so good. I just, I never know how to do this. I always want to, <laughs> but I just feel like I can't build community lots, but this is so impressive. Like I've tried to build this kind of lot before in the past, but never, I like gave up a million times. So I just couldn't get it to work how I wanted it to. But it looks so fun. It's so detailed too. This is a wonderful save file. I think these are townhouses. I gotta see this. This is important. Oh, the way to my poor little heart. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's so detailed too. Where do I even start looking? I don't know where to start looking. Okay, so it looks like this one is empty. So you can move your Sims into the middle one here. Oh, I love how this kitchen looks. <gasps> I'm sorry. Okay, no, I'm sorry. This open shelving is genuinely one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. I am obsessed with how this looks. Oh, it's so clever and so beautiful. I <laughs> I love this build. I'm, so, I'm getting too excited right now. Look at it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This kitchen, I'm, I'm dead serious, might be one of my favorite things I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> and their little balcony on the side. I love how these look. Oh, I, I just, with the townhouses too, I feel like I can never pull off like doing multiple buildings on one lot. Like I think it just looks kind of odd when I build it, but this just looks so right. And the gates, like this is the perfect lot for a house like this too. It'd be so fun to live here. Now that we have the roommate system too, you could kind of like lock the doors for roommates. You could like stick them, you know, you could get like maybe just one household here, lock the doors for your roommates and get like four roommates to live in each of the townhouses and you get just one of them. And you can kind of have like a functional multiple family build. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Old Town Bridal. No, a, a bridal store? The key to my heart. <gasps> Look. Oh, it looks like Disney. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, 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 okay. So it's a retail store. So there's a photo studio over here. So you can take your wedding photos, of course. You get your makeup on, you get all set up and ready. Take your wedding photos. They've got examples on the wall. Look how pretty. In here, there's a bakery so you can get your wedding cakes. <laughs> 
It's even all filled. It's got carrot cakes and everything in it. So you can come buy them here. And then there's like the actual bridal salon where you can come in. You can pick out like your bridesmaid dresses and oh, look at these little guys. Oh. And then upstairs, there's a bunch of wedding dresses, I'm assuming. Yeah, look! And then your sims can come try them on. This is so cute. This is so, so cute. I love this. This is the kind of thing that you, like, need in this game, you know? Because you just, you want to bring your sims. You're playing a legacy challenge like a family you love. You want to, like, bring your sims. You want to get them their wedding dresses tried on. You want to, like, bring them to this. Because, like, in real life, that whole, like, wedding dress shopping process, and, like, the wedding planning is all so important to people. And, like, to actually have that and, like, pretend to do it in the sims is a kind of fun to like bring your sims here get your dress take your photos you know buy your cake i oh it's cute oh i love this build okay never mind this is my new favorite build i keep picking them as my favorite builds i just keep everyone i see i'm like okay this is the best one <laughs> they're all the best ones i told you she's the best builder for the sims i'm telling you right now the most talented sims builder it's really unfair okay I love the unfurnished apartment, by the way. That's so cool. But I, I just, I, I saw this and I got really upset because I feel like I never know how to make this apartment look good. Like, it, it's just so big and I'm not good at furnishing big apartments. <laughs> no, look how pretty it is. Are they celebrities by any chance? Yes! Okay, oh, we got a celebrity apartment. Amazing. A big high-rise cool building. Look at their photos, too, and they have this whole bar area. This looks amazing. Oh, she's got all the fashion stuff in here. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Look, oh, look at this. Okay, wait. So she's a musician. He's a, a, a dedicated dresser, a, a fashion stylist. I never use that career, so this is like all new to me. But like over here is like his full on whole studio area. And then she has all of her music stuff she needs. Oh wow, this, okay, this is really cool. I love the story behind all the Sims and that like you can really see the personality in all the builds. I think that makes them so much fun to look at. Like the little things like the bills on the table and stuff, like it's these tiny details that make these builds look so cool. I still have so much to look at. <laughs> I'm getting too distracted. Okay, you had me at this giant mansion. I gotta know what's going on here. Oh, look at their little family too. Oh, okay. I'm too, I'm too emotional. I, I, I want to play in this save file. I feel like I'm not looking at them in depth enough. Like I need to like read their backstories, you know, I need to play with them all to get to know them better. <laughs> like, I get way too into these things. <gasps> no. Okay. I'm sorry. The fact that people can be good at building big houses in the Sims, I don't get it. I'm not good at building big houses. I just, this is one of those things that it's like, how do you envision how to furnish them well? I know that you guys think I'm good at building in The Sims and that like, that's fine, but you're wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm like, okay at building in The Sims. I just, I, I get so impressed by these people because it feels like it must come so naturally to Dawn and how she does this. I just don't, I don't get it. She's so clever with these things. Oh, it's so unfair. I feel like a sponge too. I like come in and I, I, I look at other people's builds and I'm like, wait, that's a good idea. Like the terrain paint underneath this little pathway, it makes it look so nice. And this cool greenhouse, like this is a good idea. And the fenced in, like this giant lot kind of needs you to have like these different areas, you know, like this different patio area over here and the greenhouse and the basketball court and the lights on it. Like, I think she uses the big lot very well. I always have a hard time filling up big lots. Like, I don't know what to do with them, but like this, like the pathways and stuff, it's very smart. It looks really pretty. And the whole, like this patio space and like the outdoor little like spa things. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love, and the, oh, the art studio up here. Oh, oh, I love this. There's even a whole mural on this wall. Mm, this looks so good. And I love how she does her master suites. She kind of like splits up her master suites a bit where she has like a seating area and stuff. I think like putting a wall in the middle of the master suite and making it kind of like a, a seating area and a bed area is so smart and realistic for a big house like this. I just don't ever think to do that. This looks so pretty. Dang it. <laughs> I suck. I don't mean to be all stepped over kidding. I don't, I don't actually think I suck. I just, I, I always love looking at these things. I get so impressed. Just like the sheer talent and the creativity involved with these things is so impressive to me. Whoa, look at what she did to the yacht club. Wait, this lot really needed help. But look, oh, this is so much better now. This makes so much sense for a yacht club. Okay, what do we got? There's like event spaces, obviously, because you know, you would come to a yacht club like this and you would have, look, she's got little roses and menus on the table too. So you can come in, you can check in. There's bathrooms, there's a whole bar area, more event space with the piano and stuff. Outside, there's all this seating area and the pool. A dance floor, of course. There's a restaurant, so you can change the lot from a lounge to a restaurant if you want to, and I, I assume it'll function. Yeah, it's got all the requirements. You can make this a restaurant if you wanted to. But I think it's set as a lounge so that it could be a wedding 
wedding venue if you'd like. It's even got spaces to sleep. Oh, this is perfect. This will make for a perfect wedding space because you have your Sims get married over here. And you've got everything else you need. You've got a piano, you've got the, the microphone, you've got all the seating, the bar, the dance floor. Like, you've got the perfect wedding venue right here in the game. So you could go, you could get your wedding dress bought, buy your cake, you could come to the Brindleton Bay Yacht Club. Oh, I love this. I tried to make mine into a wedding venue too, but I didn't, I didn't add a second floor because my, my save is mostly like renovations of existing builds. And I think Dawn has more rebuilt everything. So I didn't add a second floor to mine, but I, I love the putting of the, like the hotel suite type stuff up here. I think that's so clever. I mean, it's so fun for like a newly married couple to come stay here. I love this. Okay. I was so curious how she used this awful lot, the, but she made the 40 by 30 in Delso Valley into a plum bob motel. <gasps> no. Oh my God. Wait. That's perfect. This looks perfect for this space. <gasps> okay, so there's like pool space outside. And then you've got like the classic, like kind of L-shaped motel area with the stair hallway and there's like a vending machine there. This is so realistic. Okay, and then you come into the room. First of all, this is a nice suite you got over here on this side. But there's, this is the suite. They have a hot tub and stuff over here. There's two of them. There's one on the third floor. And there's suites on this side too, okay. These have space for toddlers too. And snack food. <laughs> you can buy stuff from the vendors. And then they have these tiny like motel rooms, you know, with like the double beds and things. This is so smart. I love the layout. Oh, this is such a clever way to use this lot because you could bring your Sims here and it's technically a pool lot, but you could like bring your Sims here and stay here if you wanted to. There's even laundry, like a laundromat space and like a little bar area. Oh, this is so fun. I, this is a really cool build. This is a very clever concept. Like the fact that they have this little like carport where you can walk in, look, the lobby's right here. That's so realistic. I mean, you've all been to motels like this, you know, where you drive and then you can, there's like a door right in. Is that a Roomba? <laughs> There's a robot vacuum in the parking lot. I love this build. Okay, favorite build is this one. That's a lie. I like them all. I This is so cool. Can you believe that one person did this entire thing? I didn't even show you all of it. I haven't even looked at all of it yet. Please, I'm gonna link this down below. Download it. Check it out. If you don't have all the packs, you'll have some naked Sams and empty lots and stuff, so I'm really sorry about that. But you can go to her channel and watch the video she's made. I, I assume she's made videos on, like, all of these builds, so you can watch those. You can find out more about it. Like I said, links in the description box. Please check out her channel. I'm so impressed! I just, I think one of the best parts of the Sims is getting to see how other people play because it's so fun to see what they think of and how their builds work and what, how creative they can be. The Sims community is a magical place. I seem like kind of a weedy saying this, but like I am just so impressed by everyone else. <laughs> Simlessy especially right now because this is a very cool save file and I'm so glad I got to see it. I'm gonna go cry now because um, I'm really bad at building in The Sims and now it's been proven. <laughs> I'm only half kidding about that. So yeah, anyway, bye. I cannot stress enough how much you need to go click on her link right now and subscribe to her channel because it she's so good at this. So beyond good at this.